Yo, what is going on guys? Delta, welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video. Today, the AE4 and the AE4 Widowmaker dropped on Xbox for Season Pass holders. If you're on PS3 and PS4, I think it comes later on uh, during down the month or when the first DLC releases, so don't worry. Um, today, I'm just going to go through some class setups for it. Uh, we're going to do some stats for it, and then later on today, uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely recommend you do so you guys don't miss the gameplays I'll have. I'll be doing uh, two gameplays in one video. I'll be doing one gameplay of Team Deathmatch with the AE4, and then one gameplay with the Widowmaker just to show off the difference of them, which isn't really much, but it's definitely something to showcase. My dog just came in the room. But anyways, it is about 8 o'clock in the morning, and or 8.30, something like that. I haven't even had coffee, but this video needs to get done. So if I am a little bit sloppy, I apologize. So let's get on with it. First off, we got the AE4. I unlocked a couple attachments just to show off to you guys. Also, we'll go to the firing range just to test them out, the accuracy and all that. But we got the AE4 with the quick draw, foregrip, and stock. Now, the quick draw is unlocked by getting 40 kills aiming down sights. And usually, it's like 10 headshots, which I don't know why they did that. But um, this headshot is pretty easy to get headshots and stuff with. Um, so, 40 kills aiming down sights to get quick draw grip. 10 hit fire kills to get the stock. 20 hit fire kills to get the heat sink. Then you got the foregrip at 20 kills. Or no, I think it's 10. 10 kills, I think, to get... Yeah, 10 kills to get the foregrip, 20 kills to get the red dot sight, and so on and so forth. So this gun's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think stock, foregrip, and quick draw is probably the best attachments for it. I also got the royalty camo. Then we got the perk one at low profile just to stay off the map. This gun doesn't have a suppressor. It doesn't shoot suppressed. It's it's totally loud. So it's good to stay off the radar uh, when the UAVs come and sweep in and stuff and to get away from gunfights safely. Um, we got toughness and blast suppressor, blast suppressor, to, like I said, to get away from gunfights and just not show you the trace of where you're going. Because when you do boost jump and boost dodge and all that, it shows without this on. So, um, this gun does not have ammo. It's more of like a, uh, like an energy weapon. You shoot it and it goes strictly off ammo and then it overheats and then it reloads. So, uh, there's no need for scavenger or anything. I'm a toughness freak. I need toughness. I can't live without it. I, it needs it. I need it in my life. It needs me pretty much. So if you don't use toughness, you can put on hardline and blast suppressor. You can put on hardwired and blast suppressor, whichever you prefer. Just scavenger is not needed because this gun just overheats. It does not have any ammo whatsoever. So exo ability is overclocked just for me to get from one position to another because it is an assault rifle. So its mobility is not the best. So it definitely gives me that little boost to get from one spot to another. Moving into the score streaks, we got the UAV with the enemy direction, extra time, and assist points. The assist points then helps me get to the system hack, which then has system point assist points as well and extended time. And then those assist points help me to get the bombing run with stealth and additional bomber, which is pretty cool. So that's the first class setup. We'll try out the AE4 right now. My accuracy is going to be sloppy, so don't get mad at me and don't make fun of me because I have sensitive feelings. So... As you can see, this gun pretty much has like zero recoil. As you can see, I hit 11 out of 15. So, it, it's it's really not that bad. Like, I'll show you against this wall. I did a couple tests earlier. But, like, against this wall, like, this thing has pretty much zero recoil, as you can see there. Like, it's it's pretty crazy. Like, just... Th this thing's gonna be pretty good. I can already tell. The iron sights are pretty good. I really don't think there's a need for the, like, the red dot sights and stuff. So... I would try to stay away from that. I'll show you what it looks like actually with the red dot sight just so you guys could check it out. Um, it, it just looks kind of weird. I don't know. Like it has a big line in the middle. I feel like the recoil has increased just a little bit. Um, but I just don't recommend the red dot sight. I just re recommend keeping it like this right here. So next up we got the AE4 Widowmaker. Now this one is different. Oh, why did I do that? This one's different in stats. It has plus one accuracy and it has down one fire rate. And you don't really see the fire rate difference in between them. Uh, but this one, since it has a lower fire rate, I decided not to put stock on it because I won't be as mobile with it. Since it won't shoot as fast as the AE4, I guess, apparently. So I put the foregrip and the quick draw also with the royalty camo on it, which is pretty cool. Um, I got the quick draw just to get my gun up quicker and the foregrip just to steady the aim. Now, I think this gun does pretty good without the foregrip. We'll try it out because I haven't even done that yet. So, yeah, see, it barely has any recoil. Without the foregrip, that's pretty much it. So... Here, that's with that's without the foregrip. So let's try with the foregrip and see the difference of it. We'll go right next to that one and we'll just shoot it and we'll see how it goes. So Yeah, so pretty much with the foregrip, pretty standard, pretty much the same. Uh, so I just, but 
regardless of it, I just put four grip and quick draw on it just to give that extra accuracy. Um, then we got low profile and flak jacket. Now flak jacket, this class is more for like um, like objective based game modes. You're playing search or whatever. So I threw on flak jacket on there uh, just because I thought it'd be pretty cool to try out flak jacket because I really haven't used it. Uh, perk two, I got peripherals. I put peripherals on this one just because I got the UAV. And when I call it in, I want to make sure that I know where everybody is in the map. So the peripherals, if you're unfamiliar, it increases the mini map coverage. So it basically shows the entire map on your mini map, which is pretty cool. So um, uh, then we got the toughness and blast suppressor, like the last one. Then we got overclock, like I said, to make me move a little bit faster. Then the UAV with uh, enemy direction and extra assist points. And we got system hack with assist points and extended time, which is pretty cool. So. We'll try this one out at the firing range. I don't really see a difference in it. Uh, the fire rate still seems the same. The only difference between the two that I notice is that they shoot different color uh, rounds. This one shoots red. This one shoots blue. Me personally, I like the blue a little bit better. I think the blue looks a little bit cool like when you hit people with it. Like I think it looks really neat. So, as you can see, this gun's iron sights are really good. Like the uh, Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2 had really good iron sights. The Ripper had pretty good iron sights from Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, just all the DLC guns for some reason have had oh, I hit pretty good that one I had 77 accuracy But all the guns so far I've had really good iron sights like in all the DLCs So let's hope they keep that up, but that's pretty much it That's what I have for you guys the AE4 Widowmaker in the AE4 Here's another glance at the class again if you wish to take it down. It's pretty good This is just like the starter setup or this is pretty much the setup actually because there's not really much um, attachments you can get unless you like to target enhancers and all that I'll do maybe when I do live gameplay later I'll try out the heat sink and stuff so uh, we'll see how it works also I wanted to try something so I was talking about the range I got to see which firing range has like the uh, targets like way back there uh, let's see because I don't know how good this thing is at range from what I've seen it's pretty decent uh, but like close up it like absolutely annihilates like in public matches and stuff regardless of me like totally missing these guys but like at range, it's all right. It's pretty decent. Look at this freaking thing. Are you serious? But like, but it's pretty different. It's pretty decent at range. Like, we'll try to hit this dude right here. It's just my aim, dude. Like, see how fast it like overheats. Like, you have nothing to worry about. Like, this thing is not gonna be overpowered or anything. Like, hopefully, let's hope that it's not. But it overheats pretty fast. But just regard my absolutely terrible aim. But. There you guys have it, the AE4 Widowmaker and the AE4. There's the best class setups for them. Once again, you guys can glance at them just to check them out. Try them out. Let me know in the comments below how it goes. Later on today, we have a double gameplay up, uh, live gameplay with the AE4 and the AE4 Widowmaker. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And as always, it's been Delta, and I'm out. <laughs>